Hey everybody, welcome back to my habitat. I'm back from vacation and the garden has had two weeks of non-stop growth. As per Monday's video where I showed you before I went on vacation what the garden looked like, this is a full two weeks after. Now let me show you the growth in my vegetable garden and how much produce I have in my small space. Starting here at my cucumelon vine. I have only two plants here and it has now officially taken over this wall. Now, I don't know if you remember before I went on vacation, but these weren't even touching probably the top of my waist. And in just two weeks time, they have grown so much, they weren't producing any fruit. And now look at these. We have one here, a ton just hidden in these leaves. Here, let me pick one. They just fall right off. They taste just like, like a zesty cucumber. A little bit sour, I guess that's why they call it a sour gherkin, but a really nice crunch. I'm gonna pick more of these. Zucchinis are doing great. Well, the green ones at least. I have one over here that's ready to be picked. Sadly, my yellow zucchini have vine borers that they're already starting to yellow. I can even see the little hole where the little shithead dug his way into my plant. Good feeling though. <laughs> um, but green zucchini are doing fantastic. Chamomile is still producing a lot of flowers, but it has officially started to die back. I have harvested a lot from this, so it's not a sad moment. It's kind of exciting because it means that I can finish harvesting these flowers, rip these plants out and plant something new which is, goes back to me talking about concession sowing and constantly planting something else. When something is starting to kind of die out, not produce as much, it's a great time to rip that out and throw something new in. So that's coming to you in a soon-ish video. Stevia plants looking good. This one looking much better than the tinier one, but still very happy with them. First time growing this this year and I kind of am in love with it. Peppers coming along. These are two very small plants, but they have quite a bit of little peppers on them, which is nice. Purple pepper here that's just starting to blush. You can see it there. And of course the variegated pepper, which I'm still in love with, except these leaves always make me think that this plant is dying when it's perfectly fine. Can't wait to eat this. The sage plants that I planted with you guys are magnificent, especially the pineapple sage. Uh, is massive, but I'm gonna probably have to cut this back soon because it is drowning out my little purple sage down here, which is one of my favorites, such a beautiful plant. And I definitely don't want it to drown out my triple variegated sage, which I love. Anything variegated steals my heart and it's probably always gonna be that way. I love it. Kale bed still looking magnificent. Since it's had so much time to grow, uh, I definitely have to come in and make some kale chips, make some kale salads, and eat the heck out of it because it has produced so much more than I ever thought it would, to be honest. And I think I've brought this up a million times, so I won't go over it again, but the kale's doing fantastic. Strawberries looking fantastic. I've had a little bit of trouble with Japanese beetles that I've noticed since I've been back, um, which is pretty easy to deal with. You just kind of have to pick them off but they're still doing great. I have two crops, it's four. I have two crops that are ready to be picked. Um, the kohlrabi is ready. They have bulbed up beautifully. This one is bulbed up and we just got a lot of rain so you can see that it cracked, which is very sad, but I will still use it. Um, these are just doing so fantastic. I can't wait to cook these up. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna preserve this many. I'm thinking about maybe trying these as a pickle but I'll try that out and let you guys know. I have my row of carrots here. Now, these are all officially needing to be picked. I'm probably going to pick them in an upcoming video and just talk about um, some ideas of what I'm gonna be doing with them. I have yet to think about that. Um, I'm still slightly on vacation brain, I'm not gonna lie. Right above the carrots, we have the Silver Falls. I love this plant. I love it. I don't know how to say it enough, but it's soft, 
It's beautiful. I love the color, especially against the green ladder. And it's grown quite a bit since the last video. Not that much, but enough that I want to show you guys. Tomatoes are looking beautiful. I've yet to have a tomato from my garden this year, and there's one ready right here. I thought I'd share this very special moment with you guys. Mm. That's the sun sugar, so that's so sweet. That's almost like a berry. One more. Probably did off camera so you guys don't have to see me chew. Okay. King Tut peas are dying out. I left quite a few pods on the actual plant simply because I'm going to harvest some of these seeds and I'll actually quickly show you how I do that because there's one pod here that's fully dried out. All I'm gonna do is take it off the plant and once you crack it in your hand, you can see there's all the seeds. And that's all you need to do to get free seeds for your garden next year. In case you didn't know that, there's a little, little DIY saving money trick. Cucumbers are doing great. When, the first night we got home actually, we picked one of these cucumbers to eat it and it was delicious. Uh, this is the China Jade Cucumber. I got the seeds from Baker Creek. Uh, no advertisement there, I just tell you guys where I get the stuff. Uh, but delicious cucumber. This one's a little oddly shaped, big bottom, skinnier top, but they're supposed to be slimmer cucumbers, so they're not supposed to get this chunky. So this one probably could have been picked a little bit earlier, but I had one like this the other day. So good, it really is. Such a tender flavor to this cucumber. And this is actually the first year where I've really had full success with cucumbers. Um, usually they get a little bit bitter, the skin's a little bit tough, um, but you know, it might be the variety. It could just be the fact that this year I've gone hundred percent making sure that I'm watering my garden, especially my cucumbers. Cause if you let your cucumbers dry out, they get bitter, their skins gets a little tough. So, uh, I'm just really happy this year. Biggest change in this garden has to be the squash. I wasn't expecting it. Um, I came, uh, whenever I left, I couldn't even see, like I could see some flower buds forming. I wasn't expecting to see fully developed squash when I came back. Let me show you. Okay, so we have this squash right here. I'll put the name on the screen because it's uh, left my head uh, at the moment. And then we have a dwarf butternut squash here and a lot more in behind. I see another squash there. I have two or three, four over there. I have a lot of squash coming in off of these plants and I think I only have like three plants here in total, maybe four. Um, I'm just so happy, I really am. Uh, this gardening season so far has been a little bit trying with just the lateness of putting in the boxes, getting the soil in, it was a lot of work to get it started, but it feels so good. Getting all this food and having this abundance in my backyard really just brings a smile to my face. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Till next time, stay planting. Look at the 